There we go. Okay, now I am... Now I'm flying down towards the planet. At 350 meters a second. I'll hold this for everybody to get formed up. Oh, that was massive desync. You just teleported forward. Remember, we are in space, traveling at high speed, so make sure your spacing reflects that. Don't be directly behind somebody. There we are. I guess... <laughs> Terry. It's <laughs> up a little bit more speed than I anticipated, huh? <laughs> All I hear is people zipping past me. For anyone yeah, interested, I keep trying to form a body, but you're flying backwards. <laughs> I am dropping oh, the I'll stream link bling. in live streams. Oh, I'm still there. Anyway. Man, Kelly, you weren't wrong. This ship is looking. What do you want, Terry? Uh, it's looking oh, pretty yeah. bad. <laughs> uh, it's pretty oh, torn up. You, you take what you want. Well, right now I take the key. I'm streaming your exterior right now, and it's like, uh... So it's this not, is five? It's torn up. Hello, Alpha. Hey, Alpha. Okay, I said I was gonna join... I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I kind of <laughs> lately stole the machine. Yeah, no worries. Way. No worries. But, but no idea where to go. Uh, we are meeting at my well. Set your spawn to Tressler, and we will be. I've already uh, set my spawn to Tressler. That's what I meant. I said I was stalking you. I was flying behind you. Ah, right. But okay. you accelerated we, too fast. We jumped to OM1, and OM1. we're flying. We're flying there down we towards. Kind of two it five five towards the coast. Were... A party invite. Yep. So I will find OM1. Comrade. Uh, we're it's not allowed to see you there yet. It's below the path. <laughs> invite yeah. sent. Yeah. Accept it. Right, CCC, oh, join in left side. side. Oh, holy! Like <laughs> the HUD just yeah, missed There's a oh. bunch of us out here today. Right. right. Hey, Mace. Hey, Maze. Disengaging couples. Hello. Good morning. Also, hey. I would like to say thank you to everyone who was there last week for actually getting me to learn decoupled. Oh, no problem, man. That's uh, part of the reason why I do these, to, to help people learn new skills. Uh, Whoever is flying directly behind me, would you please not do that? <laughs> it's Ender. <laughs> I am not. Hey, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're, we're in space, and we get a lot of desync when we start accelerating. Oh, and if that, you're directly yes. behind somebody, okay, sorry. It, you're probably going to blow up. Yep. Last time I did that, I did fly <laughs> directly into data. <laughs> and there was, was a boom. Was yeah. I, I was like, oh, it's not. It's not that close. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Sorry, well, he yeah. said give a bit of space, so I thought that meant like more than 50 meters. I didn't think that's that more than 200 meters or 150 meters. You know, definitely yeah. give lots of space in space. Yes, I wasn't thinking of it in the context. Okay, I'm closing <laughs> within 10 clicks on the start decelerating. Where's that? We're flying oh. at 350 meters a second at the moment. Okay, so I really need to hit the brakes. <laughs> Who's on data's left? I just, my party marker just says Anvil Aerospace. Uh, that's Anvil Aerospace. It's me, Ender. Ender. Oh, it is Anvil Aerospace, okay. <laughs> oh, Ember, as always. Uh, I thought that was like a demonic. Like that's a great name. Love it. It's Anvil Aerospace himself. Right. Flying an Aegis ship. Yes, <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, I'm in an Anvil ship. Because scouting the competition, you know? Yeah. This looks amazing. Let me get the chase for now. Oh my, uh, you, gonna... you just went right in front of there. Are you gonna join us today, Maze? You're just stopping by to say hey. I wish I could, dude. I'm about to just pick Sasha's up. Here. Oh, yeah. Okay, no worries. I'll have it all recorded if you uh, want to watch later. We got a pretty good group today, so we should get some good footage. 
Yeah, I'm Eve. I really wanted to join the no bird up flight. Well, it won't be the only one, and uh, yeah. I've got uh, a race event in mind with uh, this style. Oh, oh P-72s? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The P-72 no is unique because you can fly in a straight line, no vert up, and because it, it flies nose above TVI a little bit, at max speed and atmosphere, it'll actually gently climb its way out. Huh. Like it. Actually excited. has a lift. You might want yeah. to try the Razor in 320. I've had people have been saying that if you pull really hard into turns, it now behaves a little bit like the 72 and 52. Mm -hmm. Probably not as much, but it really yanks. So it might have a bit of that too. Nice. That yeah, I tried. Yanks. I tried the Razor in uh, 319, and it no, it's bad. Yeah, it no, flies good straight. It's got a bit more. Yeah, but when you when you start doing maneuvers and it slows down, it loses all the the lift and it's real bad. But yeah, yeah. the P seventy two is going to be a good time, I think. At least, are you putting yourself on flight duty or film duty? Just film duty. Oh, I'm excited. Am I getting off TVI? I am. Kayla Star is in the uh, co-pilot seat on the Titan. D Turkin, yeah. you always I... you always tell me you you like the clips. Yeah, I, I have that with Kaylee Star now. I'm like, what's he cooking up? <laughs> I feel like yeah. it's hard to rescue. Got another dealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kale, yeah. I, set the, I set that as my desktop background. That grid photo you took yesterday. Okay, oh, everybody. I, I had a few more paint schemes. I'm sorry. Uh, we are going to start accelerating up to max speed now. I am starting to slowly accelerate. I just have to say, I think I may be a tad overdressed here. Um, it, you're all in Avenger Titans, and I'm bringing an arrow. Ah, oh, you brought an arrow. Well, this is going to be interesting then. No, I think I can give him my ship. I don't even have enough to buy an Avenger Titan, to be completely honest. Well, you don't need to. Yeah. You, you can, can uh, rent them. Uh, yeah, fifteen k from a uh, yeah, fifteen k from the cargo deck rental terminal. That's what it's we're all doing. Right. I was fine. I was fine an arrow when you were all in eclipses yes, last week. So we'll be swapping to arrow after this, so it'll be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna have front, to. I can give I'm gonna have my, to another uh, one of my Avenger. cinematic breaks as well. If you recall last week when I blitzed head and broke off, I'm gonna have to do that again in about ten minutes. So, so you call this overdressed because people do call it the penguin. It's a bit like a tuxedo <laughs> in the black yeah. and white. <laughs> hey. All right, how are we doing? We are up to 800 meters a second. Continuing to accelerate. Yeah, I like the uh, black paint. Once on. we get into atmosphere, I am not going to fly with any strafe up. So at this point, just uh, forget strafe up exists. All the maneuvers we're going to do from this point forward will be all main power, roll, and pitch. Well, for me, I will be slightly <laughs> limited. <laughs> it's going to be a new way to fly. It's going to hurt your brain for a little bit, but. Uh, once you get it down, it actually makes it a lot easier to stay with a group because you're removing, uh, you're removing a little bit of complexity with trying to match strafe up input. Yeah. You once we're in ammo, it's not, not going to work too great here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, though it is a doable. Bit, you got a lot of nose, a lot of nose up. <laughs> and uh, since we're at max speed now, though. For this data. Right, um, welcome. I will be slightly limited. And uh, it's to the Avenger not... Titan directly below me, I advise being a bit gentle on the strafe up. Yeah, now that we're at full thing, speed... Uh, what's your current speed? Wait, because I am at top speed at 960. We're at 1113. Uh, I don't know why though. I can't accelerate one with both. Yeah. And um, do you have the speed uh, in front? What, what are you in, Levath? Are you in a Titan? I'm a Titan with all power to engines. Do you have the speed limiter on? No, it's at max. Uh, I would go into yeah, decoupled mode that. if you can at the moment. Oh, Check there we go. We hit at most one level. Yeah. I think it was just right being at max. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I yeah, can no, go faster than that. I'll wait to. Getting that mo to get closer. Should be getting that burn in effect any moment now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. put on, seen it on a monster a little bit. Looking at this from oh, the back it? of the pack is really nice. Yep. Like it's almost oh. like um 
Like, I'm the camera ship in this situation. Yeah. Because everyone's in a different ship. Flying the back is always you... good because you get to see all the other ships. Yeah, I'm just in the monster had to burn in for like half a second, then it went away. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't get it at all. Huh? Yeah, I still don't uh, have he's it. He's got it again now. I see. I'm I'm I've seen it. I don't see it on. I'm seeing on though. Anvil and Monster. Kale, do you see anything? I don't. Huh. I see a okay. tiny bit. I, I see a tiny bit on their tail fin, like it's a little bit of orange glimmer. Yep. Yep. That's yeah. exactly what I... I've seen. I... But it's not I... like. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we, go. <laughs> yeah. I guess we were just I'm too high. Fire. No one told me I just matched speed with third person just throttling. <laughs> this ship is on fire. I I look the part now with all these holes. Oh, more of that. I need, <laughs> yeah. oh. I need to keep some subtle to throttle on. That seemed way different I than hate, before. I hate the burning effect. Right, I am right going now. to put on some hard de throttle and just try and line myself back up. At because least the burn ends better than it used to be. Yeah, they're a lot better than they used to what be. They're using be? Uh, SDF tech now, so it. Um, instead of it being just a, an effect that plays off the nose of the ship, it plays based on the direction of the ship into that mode. Even though. The, the effect kind of clips through the ship now. It's it's more accurate than it used to be. It used to be just an effect that was pasted onto the nose of the ship, so you could be coming into ammo like sideways, and it it, it would still be burning off your nose going back behind you. Now it's a little bit more now, realistic. Right? Yes. I'm, I'm rolling now. If you I'm rolling level the now. You get the We're gonna start I'm pitching clear to up close in just now, a right, You are clear to close. I, thank you. All right, I'm gonna start pitching up. Remember, this pitch up is all straight pitch up. I'm not using any strafe input at all. Oh, uh, right. Oh, I like pinning. I get a distance uh, to multiple ships. Yeah, I've got all three in front of me pinned. It's great. Is it like all two to pin a second in line, or is it still just. Yeah. Yeah, it's one through three, I believe. Maybe one through four. Yeah, I got you guys pinned up one, two, three with the corresponding slots, and it's cool because I could kind of see like a bubble level for the front of the formation, the three icons. Oh yeah, this is a whole new level of. Uh, yeah, it's learning. a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> I like this. Yeah, I like, but it, I like it. it. Well. It has the, the benefit. Is like no left. It it has the benefit of making people with mouse and keyboard able to stay in the formation because they don't have to do the flappy bird or fly in couple mode. Uh, you can fly I'm full still decoupled. Doing like, but I'm doing like 95% forward thrust to keep up with you right now. That is I because can't. that's true. I am slightly limited, so everybody else can keep up. Let me. Right, I'm gonna turn gonna that off a for a second. Gonna be a little weird for them. Yeah, the uh, hardest part. Or thrust. That made I need to difference. keep vertical thrust just because I fall no matter what. Yeah, you're an arrow, so your speed's going to be different than ours. Oh, yeah, I'm just you. trying to balance up. Oh, love I'm up. using as Hello. little vert as I can. Uh, yep, but why? Am I See, for me... Yeah, I was wondering, could I get a me, this was speed out, potentially? For me, I this did not realize I was in this close, go. sorry. All I have to worry oh, about is uh, my forward thrust instead of also flappy burning the living hell. Out of yeah. my space bar. So I am That's very nice. slightly limited here, so you should have one or two meters a second on me. We Hopefully can use our birds to catch up with you, so it's actually That's true. it's actually you pretty can. easy. Yeah, yeah, it was really easy. All I right. just dragged my TVI up a little bit and caught right up. Okay, it's I'm gonna go non-limited then and see how that plays out. I forgot you could yeah, do the that. Thing, thing is you have to limit the, the thruster but not the not the velocity. Yeah, acceleration. So, yeah, you don't need to do that, Ender. Just data, just data. Yeah, as Probably lead, it makes it good. easier for the wingman to keep up when you're flying normal, but I forgot with the strafe up, you can easily catch up with speed, so... Which is a bit of a bike cord, yeah. Yeah. Just a bit of conversation, have any of you blown the, the master modes yet? Yeah. Hey. I don't even talk about master modes, but the dogfights I had on Dots and Vandal were really intense. Not just because of the 50 ships bearing down on me. 
it's, but, it's two very different questions what people want to change in the dogfighting model versus what people would want to change in the flight model, which is like the formation of flyers we care about or racers. I I really enjoy it from a dogfighting perspective. Yeah, but if you it take this if you take fun. this and you have the ship's hard to accelerate in space, they're not gonna sink. People aren't gonna like that because it, there's no feel for that, right? The thing is though, it's not just the in circular the inputs. Doc. <laughs> was, yep. Is that just an SCM or is it an SCM and that? Well, it's, it's just it's just both. the things. Yeah. yeah. It, there are things it's that people always. are unhappy about. Oh. I was. Alright, everybody. Was just are awful. We're gonna start doing a little right hand turn here. Very gentle. This is all roll and just maintain your um, pitch up angle. <clears throat> and we should all start turning at the same time. This is so smooth. I'm gonna put in a bit of all extra thrust to try and keep up. Do I have a little bit of a I'm just trying to keep distance and not fall to the ground. I'm sorry, Andrew, what did you say? Yeah, uh, 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 not the leader for the rest. If you add a little of trip up, it allows uh, the seat to go faster. Uh, that helps. Yeah, yeah right. We, so we, if we you... Sin strafe up, sin strafe up today. Yeah, so... Just for a split second, so you can... He's saying what I was just saying. Yeah, 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 if you start I to agree. fall behind, just slightly give it a little bit of strafe up, you'll align more to the TVI, you'll have less drag, and you'll increase your speed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a little smoother than if you're using boost to keep up, yeah. I think. Yeah. It's like a All little right, bit we're gonna of boost. level out. How's that, look? How's that looking back there, Kale? That's great. It's so that easy to catch up with you. Perfect. Whoa! Right, I prefer I... playing like this. Uh, this way you can feel the dynamics of the ship. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna call it. I have five minutes. So, Turrican, in about five minutes, I'm gonna burn right past him. Okay. <laughs> just, just don't be alarmed when you see, uh, what is it, proximity warnings pop up. <laughs> I think he's already got some proximity warnings on the screen. Probably. <laughs> When you're flying close, you basically have perma proximity limit uh, warnings. Just staring at a collision alert right now. I'm I'm staring at collision alert too because my TVI is squarely on the screen. All right, let's let's try a tight left hand turn. Rolling into it now. And we're gonna pitch up pretty aggressive. That's that's almost 80 degrees. Wow. This is smooth. Looking at this from the cockpit with all the rain. This is the way to do it, Data. You you gotta come back here and try this uh, verts to to catch up thing. You, it's really smooth. Yeah, I, I've got constant verts in. You know that I try and match the Avenger. This is so smooth. Yeah, I think we found a way to be even Ooh. smoother formation flying until we get uh, uh -oh. actual control surface. We good back there? Oh, yeah, stutter. Yeah, everyone stuttered right. and the whole group jumped. I went from being uh, 120 meters behind someone to 50. Um, are people flying by that few uh, shots ahead? Just to quell the interest of thoughts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch any of what you just said. Say it again. Are you fine if I crawled in through the fault by just firing a few random shots? Clear. Oh uh, yeah, one. just uh, try not to hit anybody. We're rolling level. Data machine, are you cautiously optimistic? I am cautiously optimistic. I'm very hopeful. Yeah, me too, dude. How much slower is this? Like, what do we normally cruise at in the Titans? Like two thirty or something? Two sixty. Two sixty-ish. Yeah, My I think... oldly, like... Sorry, go ahead, Dana. 
Yeah, I think 250, 260 is the normal cruise speed when you're on TBI. My only on question, you is like, like thing that could, you know, need to be checked is like, is the flyby less cool? Do, do we make less noise flying off TBI or something? That would be the only thing I would make sure to check. Honestly, right now, I'm not worried about it because the flyby sounds are so broken. True. Yeah, they're pretty anemic. Rise in A2. That's the cool thing about the formation is you get like five dice rolls on whether one of the sounds will actually be proper. All right, let's try doing a loop-de-loop -loop here. We're just gonna go straight up. We're oh, gonna no. do. We're gonna go gentle going up for the first 180, and then we'll tighten it up coming back around so we don't hit the ground. Start yeah, one second. Let me get in position, please. Right, I'm. Is it wise for me to pull back so I don't accidentally crush into any of you pulling the maneuver? Um, if you do not have eyes on people, then yes. I have eyes. My worry is the fact of like the differences in turn rate and velocity. I have this strange feeling that because this engine is significantly more potent, I might accidentally just I hit the accelerator too hard. I'm getting a nice little jet noise right now. Yeah, you're yeah, it's making a racket out here. <laughs> yeah, what is what is that from? Is that just? I think it might be an overlap. I'm, I gotta adjust roll a little bit to the left. It's an I think it's an overlap of some of the audio. The other way. I'm just flying in third person for kicks. All right, I'm gonna tighten it Why? up now. Tight, tightening up the turn. What'd you say, Maze? Oh, I'm just curious. I guess if you leveled it out inverted, that TBI is going to drop, right? But then oh, yeah, it will. Is. Yeah, it, okay. it's staying in position yeah, because we have a constant uh, yeah. pitch up input. Yeah, our glass it. of water wouldn't be spilling, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're actually pulling 2.8 G sustained right now. That's you guys, maybe. All right. Bill uh, Boy in your chat says, happy 50th uh, formation flight data. Oh, Ooh. hey, Bill. Thanks, Bill. It's been uh, an interesting but fun ride so far. I'm looking forward to what we can do Enjoying in the future. The All right, leveling out. My oh, bad. I called that late. <laughs> I am. Um, wow, I got right. it. This is my time to go. So, so Tori. Don't, All right, don't Alpha. Worry. Thanks for dropping by, and uh, maybe we'll catch you next week. Take it easy, Alpha. Thanks for coming. I love pulling these maneuvers. I went back to the last stream to watch it from your perspective. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wouldn't let me clip it. Yeah, this is me. I'm just gonna burn out of that now. Roger that. This is me Never going. I'm gonna leave the chat. I'm gonna. Uh -oh. I'll see if I can join the stream, but I might probably not be able to. Roger that. I, I gotta take my hand off pitch up. We're gonna start sinking real quick. Uh, I apologize. Here we go. So the low oh, fly nice. portion. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, my bad. Pick it up back hey, up. Yo, low fly? Now we can try a little low fly. It's a little bit sketchy flying this way because your TVI, your direction of travel is basically right on the dashboard. So you, you almost need a ship that has visibility. Yeah, you're kind of flying cockpit. like like an old uh, biplane where the nose is so high you can't really see over it when you're trying to come into land. How did you say the Mustang flies, uh, Data? I don't know, honestly. I don't remember how it flies. Yeah. If you're not doing straight up, I'll have to test it. I have a bunch of them, so we can it's just give it a It's got good shot. visibility, and it's got That's true. rockets. If you have head tracking, you can just sit up in your chair if you've got the uh, vertical whoop, okay. vertical offset. You can see over the nose. I'm quite. I'm falling into this idea of a Mustang Delta being like the closest thing I'll get to an Apache right now. <laughs> This isn't too bad, Data. It's still sitting above your cockpit. That's nice. Yeah, it's the lower you go, I think the, the tighter it stays because of uh, ah density. Yeah. That is an attention to detail I enjoy. I mean, technically it shouldn't, right? Because the technically, yeah. The airspeed shouldn't sh shouldn't change. It yeah. just means a higher yeah. ground speed, higher up, but the same same attitude, really. I mean, it'd be more drag on your ship, though, so you'd 
If we're putting in the same amount of thrust, no, it, it would be going slower. It wouldn't be this. It wouldn't be more drag. It would be the the same amount of drag, but lower ground speed because the air is denser. But if you're yeah. higher up, you've got the same amount of drag. You're just pushing harder through the air. You're, you're going faster through the air, pushing just as hard against the same amount of air particles, but they are less dense. So you, you get to go faster. But it's the same. Oh. The same I think we're going to make mountain. this. <laughs> yeah. mountain. My bad. <laughs> a little bit tight yeah, on the wings. Fly. I apologize. <laughs> hey, it looked cool Data. at least. Yep. Data, do you have shield strips? I do not. This is rigid. I was just so wondering if that was causing the... Oh, okay. I was wondering if that was causing the even, effect. I don't even see it. It's just the, the same old glitch. Nah, the DC key. Yeah, it's torn up for me. Yeah, I spawned this way, so whoever rented it before, man, that did a, did a number. <laughs> Hope you filled out the form. Yeah, and showed all the marks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try a low fly right hand turn. Rolling now. One of the other interesting things about flying this way is you have to be more cognizant of your, your pitch angle to maintain altitude when you go into a turn, right? Because you have to actually pitch up a little bit more if you want to stay level. Love that. I really... It feels really smooth. I like when it's done to my controls, because now my left trigger reverts is, is more like an additional gas pedal. Or an additional <laughs> speed boost. And that's really what it feels like. Like, it's it's cool in that way. I'm just full throttle, and then if I start to lose them too much, I add a tiny bit of verts, and you just glide up there. It's like a variable boost. And yeah. It's, it's it, like dude. being able... Yeah, it's so nice. I really... I dig this. The only yeah, thing is that it's a double. Ships, there's some ships that are going to struggle. Like the tallies with the, like no verts. That's going to be weird. Uh, the 350. They, they have verts, but like we were playing with the Constellation the other day, remember? And the Connie does not have very good vert power when you're flying in a straight line at speed. But it has really good pitch power. So... You can fly that uh, the same way, I think. Maybe not as good because once you start bleeding off speed, then it it, uh, it loses a lot of lift. But it has a lot of lift with pitch in a straight line if you're traveling fast. Mm -hmm. The same thing with the Talon or the Tally. You can fly even with strafe up. If you want to do maneuvers, you've got to use a lot of pitch to control the angle of the nose, like the movement. You know what I'm curious about? What's that? I wonder if, if you're flying level and you jiggle your your nose down toward TVI and back up, and just kind of keep jiggling it. Do you get to fly faster? Because you are like optimizing your your aerodynamic profile. Uh, I yeah, think you do. So? You should. It's well, the same as adding you do, you do, you well, do. I, uh, I, uh, right. If you maintain altitude, you should even out because you nose down towards sure. TVI. <laughs> you're gonna drop. You're gonna accelerate. Then you pitch back up, you get off TVI, you slow down. That's what should happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, yeah if you if you it's goose a little pitch and then do nose on TVI, it, yeah, you you catch up a little bit. It's the it's the energy game, but I'm just curious how it is in. There must be a because... ship where that works. I mean, at least one of them bust. I'm with Black Maze here. Like, there's enough witchcraft and voodoo in this game that must be right. somewhat abusable. It looks it, it looks but like I it's feel well the simulated. aerodynamic. I think the aerodynamic gain is greater than the loss when you pitch back. Yeah, see, I, I just did that and I zoomed in front. Yep, yep. Okay, and what very... if you do it slower? Like, what if you do undul... Like, what if we move in waves? Very slow <laughs> waves. Yeah, 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 like down and up. Do okay, so... It's on laws of physics, right? <laughs> so the deal it. is... The deal is if you pitch down and get on TVI for a split second and then pitch straight back up, you will go faster because of the acceleration oh rate my God. when you're on TVI. So, yeah. If you do it slowly, just, just slowly bounce up and down, then you'll pretty much maintain the same speed because you're not getting close enough to the TVI to make a difference. Etchiest way to adjust yeah. formation <laughs> discovered. <laughs> pilot, <laughs> pilot, and <laughs> <induced> oscillation. <laughs> Terry was uh, flying real close Wait to me for a second there, and the sound of his engines was immaculate. So the next time he's looking at all that bouncing, nice, nice <laughs> the next okay, time he's with a mouse to ask how to do this. Totally I'm going to try something here. The waves. I don't know how do it's it. going to work. I'm going to do a third person roll turn looking backwards. Uh, We're going to go to the left. Rolling now.
Careful, careful. Are Watch we, the are we, uh, altitude. Are we altitude. Altitude. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good call, oh my good call. God. I'm sorry. Data, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> See, they've got like your back data, not mine, but they've got yours. Just straight into the rock the first time we do this? <laughs> holy like, shit. I mean, I'm looking behind. I'm trying to base my speed and altitude off of what everyone else is doing. It's, it's hard. Pers well, perspective. Just up inverted, that was so beautiful. Good call out, good call out. Are we still and descending here? Mouse and <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost hit somebody, I'm so sorry! <laughs> you didn't though, that was a nice avoid. Right. Who's that flying off to our left right now? Uh, that's Anvil. me, that's Steve. Oh, okay. uh, oh, Anvil's directly to your left. No, I'm watching you right now. I think that's you. Yeah, I'm just right, playing around with it. Have a, have a good flight. Enjoy it. Adios, Take it easy. Please. Please. Right, see you, see you Take care. Say, say hi to Asasha's for us. I will. I will. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Catch back up. Hey, Terry, I'm going to hang out on your left. Oh, Steve. I threw, I threw my cat on my bed, so hopefully we're good for a bit. <laughs> Kitty interference, I'm well, uh, well versed in that. Oh yeah. Kitty is my co-pilot. The number one reason not to have the center stick layout is there's no space for a cat in your lap. A point stick there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're having a lot of conduct. <laughs> Do you want to get uh, close? I, that's a Our good question to you. I should look up where that 16 pilot is with the cat. I'm, I'm going to try this again. I'll pitch up a little bit harder this time. Let me know if we start descending in the turn. Starting left hand roll now. Y'all are descending right now. Okay, I'm gonna start pitching up then. That's enough. Yeah. It looks like. Now you're climbing. Like this. Yeah, this is a lot. See where I'm slightly behind you to your right. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I love everyone's, how smooth everyone looks in the formation. It's like a slight amount of bob, you know? Yeah, that's bobble. what I really like about it. It looks like you're getting the, the real aerodynamic difference. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, the more uh, I bob up and down like that, the more of that little speed advantage I get. I think that's part of what makes it look good is because we're not perfectly on TPI. When people have to make adjustments, they actually tighten up to you a tiny bit while doing it. It's not yeah. Oh, uh, look at those shadows. Probably need some altitude, Steve, if you're on the Whoop, I'm pitching up. <laughs> I got a little jerk. <laughs> so good. Steve went real low right there. Alright, leveling out. Alright, just for uh, some testing purposes, let's try doing a bit of a yaw turn and see what happens. I'm not actually sure what happens when you try to yaw. I think what's going to happen is shit. that we're going to lose a lot of speed, but not do much course uh, change. If you're really fast, you can lose a lot of control with Titan using yaw. It All right, starts I'm just going quite once a bit. Once you're yeah. at a certain speed, you will start to yaw, so just stay yeah. with it. I'm going to start inputting yaw and just keep accelerating the input until I reach max. Go right. Smart. Oh, oh we're, we're, we're just gonna roll yaw. over. We're just gonna roll over. Nice. It's it feels a lot like just doing rudder input, except it's not giving us the incredible like a rollover, but it's still kind of the same effect. This is weird information behind you. Yeah, I am not Very liking weird. this. <laughs> All right, straight now. So what was that yeah, data? Was that hard right, hard right yaw? That was not hard right, that was probably half input. Oh, okay. Can we give it a full yaw? Can we try that? Yeah, we can. Please, um, no. <laughs> let's let's uh, pitch up a little bit because we are going to start losing altitude. And we might just fully roll over. Alright, we're committing to this, right? Yeah, I'm going to commit. I'm not going to go into it straight hard. 
but I'm going to accelerate okay. into a pretty, say like two seconds will be full okay. deflection. All right. Three, two, one, yawing right. All right, that's full input. We're actually just descending because of so much drag. All right, coming out of it. That looks, it looks really like cool. it looks like anything wow. over half stops changing your like you can't move anymore after half input. It just increases your drag, it, so you slow down. But it, yeah, but but once you hit certain speeds, you'll start. I I I sometimes will do race tracks yaw. But you every ship has like this critical speed where the yaw starts to induce. Again. Yeah, so yeah, it, right. As you decelerate, that that sort of is on a curve, but it'll change. Yeah. So All right. I, so like slower, you get less drag. Yeah. Let me this is going to. I misread you. I t I capped out at half, and then you hit a certain speed, and I needed to get the other half. So. Mm, okay. So we're going to try something different now. Uh, for anybody who's on keyboard control, this is probably not going to work out well for you. But for those with uh, did, uh, analog input, I'm going to slow down my throttle input. I want to see how slow we can go while maintaining enough lift to stay in formation. All right. So I'm going to start coming off the throttle now. I'm going to try to maintain altitude. Oh, yeah. TVI is dropping real fast. You need brake plates. Down to 160. 150. 40. We're doing a group Cobra maneuver. 30. We'll hold it at 20. 120. I'm going to level out. So this feels pretty strange for me. What does it feel like for you trying to stay in position? Uh, this is awful. <laughs> Ender's, Ender's doing an excellent job. And there's a professional. Once, once I start undulating, it just gets worse and worse because we're going so slow. Okay, so I'm going to count down on go. We're just going to hammer full throttle and see what happens. Three, two, one, go. That seemed pretty smooth. I liked how smoothly you accelerated. It didn't feel jerky. Yeah. I had to use and my I've throttle my because I'm on a keyboard. And I've got my first if I want to accelerate a little quicker. Like, if I'm late to hit the throttle board, I can catch up and stuff now. Right, okay, Flying so... off TVI is the real acceleration limiter. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. All right, we did some practice with this the other day with doing sharp turns with the idea that you keep the TVI in the center of your radar. And uh, that'll help. That's what I'm going to try to do when we do these sharp maneuvers. And uh, let's just see how this works with no strafe up. It's a good so reference gonna, point. Yeah, we're going to do a sharp right-hand turn. I'm going to roll, and then I'm going to pitch up so that the TVI goes into the center of the radar and then try to hold that turn with that altitude and uh, see if you guys can match it. So starting rolling right now. Starting to pitch. Get into it hard now. No, that looks nice. All right, counter rolling. I'm not in, t in uh, center yet, so I'm going to keep accelerating this pitch up. Wow, it takes a lot of pitch to get it there. Okay, we might we might need a breakdown data because you're incredibly fast. So yeah. we need to know uh, what your inputs are. Even, I think. Even strafing up. We can cut you. Okay, I'm not strafing, strafing up. up. seems to be making it worse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, what am I doing? I... I'm yawing a little bit to try to keep the TVI sent, uh, a li in line with uh, the nose and the center of the radar. I'm counter-rolling a little bit to the left to keep myself from rolling all the way over. It 
This is very hard on mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I imagine it is. I just wanted to test I think and it's, see. I think this it's the probably... counter yaw a little bit. Yeah. It's still nuts that he's outspeeding me when I'm full birds. This isn't working the way I would think it would. What's that? I'm able to keep pace just with adding that little bit of yaw. Although I'm off to the left, but I'm keeping the Okay, so yeah, I guess that's what it is. The uh, There's extra drag when you get off TVI uh, vertically and horizontally. Yeah. So you're yawing, you're yawing into it, Steve. Yeah, yawing I'm right. yawing a little bit uh, yeah, to the I'm, right. I'm, gotcha. Yeah, I'm counter yeah, yawing and I'm... I'm yeah. Or counter rolling and yawing to the right, and so right. you have the same turn rate with no strafe up. Yeah, that helped more than the birds do. Wow, that's awkward. Okay. Are we are we um, doing this in arrows as well, David? The same thing. I yeah, I wanted. To, I was gonna swap okay. into arrows after we get done with this. Yeah, I think that's what's weird about the yaw turns is that they give you the same speed boost as a bird turn. Okay, that's why they hurt. Level? The yaw hurt so much in racing too. Yeah. Rolling level. All right, uh, we're gonna try one more thing here. We're going to do a steep dive straight down, and then come straight back up before we hit the ground. Hopefully, that's the plan. <laughs> cool. You're about to get some fantastic footage of me slamming into that ground. I hope you know that. Well, I mean, since we're not using any strafe up, you just follow me, we should be fine. As long as I don't smash into the ground. Yeah, asterisk. Yeah, can yeah. you <laughs> wait a bit, though? There's a stone. Uh, we're in a cloud. So we'll be punching through it here. Yeah, we can pass in before that. I love how that really feels like a cloud when you're going through it. Little wavy yeah, bits. I, post I posted a screenshot of how the, uh, you can see the gradient. Oh, yeah. Diffusion between the ships. Alright, leveling off. So I am going to nose down into this turn. We're going to go point straight towards the ground, and then I'll start pitching up at some point. I'll let you know before. I'll probably go full deflection back and go straight vertically up. That's the plan. So three, two, one, nose dive. Get some red on. I'm gonna hold this at four Gs. All right. You definitely go into the dive smoother. Holding us down. Three, two, one. Pitch up. And holding. Is that just a full pitch up, David? I actually didn't do full at all. Yeah, it's probably about a yeah. half. Yeah. I gotta do. I gotta go exact amount if we're gonna rip it like that. I'm oh. afraid to do full because I don't know. With like jitter and the delay with the input, I'm afraid that we're gonna have some collisions. I feel like since you're just doing pitch up, if you do a G target plus like a TVI target, I think that can yeah, be a good thing true. to aim for. You know, G-Targ is probably better as a, as a better metric when you're not using a strafe up. Yeah, exactly, because strafe up will skew it, but if you're just yeah. using, uh, yeah, if you're just using pitch, I think that's a good turn rate. Much. All right, we're going to gain some altitude, QT back to Tressler, and swap into arrow. All right, I am engaging no strafe up flying now. I haven't tried this with the arrow, so I'm not sure how well it's going to do. It's splat. Here is Luigi. Damn, you even ripped the shields off of this thing, Saber. Mm-hmm. I was racing it. In some sort of context. I was probably teaching somebody who only had an arrow, so I mentioned. 
Okay, seems like it's not that bad. It's actually a pretty good place to fly. Pretty here. I meant the uh, aerodynamic. Yeah, the, no, the sorry. Deflection I, lift. Yeah. The aero is also. One thing I really like and about flying this way is that you have to be mindful of how hard you're pulling up in a turn because you bleed so much speed. You're trying to pulling in on me, Data. You, you'll get much more info if you're not in the lead. It's still pretty funny when you, do a, you. <laughs> when you do a really hard spin around. Um, save Hi. Pulling down. Now just accelerate up to max, I'll catch up. Max. Assuming you are flying off, uh, no strip up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Try to stay low like this. It's kind of hard to keep it level. Oh, very hard to I keep this level. Yeah, this is actually this teaching is me quite a lot about about air, air braking. Data here. If this is a lead, it's a whole different ball game. If I let my TVI drop down below the horizon for like more than two seconds, we will just die. Turning very slightly to the left to avoid what appears to be a mountain. There we go. I'm on your right wing, Saber. I am going to turn over just to make no sudden movements whatsoever. I want Data to be able to play with the birds. Yeah, I'm doing it already. Feels so good, doesn't it? I mean, it really is. It, you it can't some, reel the flight leader in like that with acceleration limiting. It it takes some practice trying to get a feel for it, but yeah. I find slowing down is harder to get used to. Using downverts and nose angle to air brake yourself is that's trickier for me. Honestly, this is a little bit harder for me because I'm used to using strafe up as uh, the lift instead of pitch. It's definitely a uh, This is harder experience. in the air than it was in the Titan. The nose angle is more uncomfortable. Oh, Terry! Oh, hey, Aaron. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just making a very gradual turn here, I assume. People can keep up. Uh. Anvil, are you moving into the left side? Uh, all right. Whoa. Did you come off the uh, gas there, Saber? Nope, just put a tiny bit of roll off. I changed my nose angle. That's what it was. I, I pulled my TVI up just a tiny bit to get over the rock, and that was enough. Oh, yeah, you must have... Because yeah. I'm not compensating with verts, so you, you eat that difference more. Yeah. Yo, uh, what is, was... is it me, or is... Okay. Saber, are you going up and down quite a bit? Yeah, yeah I'm or using my me? TVI to avoid things on the horizon. Like, I've already made us avoid these mountains. But yes, I am pitching up and down very slightly. Okay, you need to try to stay smoother, because it's okay. almost impossible yeah. for us to... <laughs> I thought it was me. Like, I was like, basically, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Fuck it up here? It's probably the wiggles. I'm probably gaining speed when I do that off. Yeah, you're okay. gaining and then losing, the plus your cheek uh, changing altitude constantly. <laughs> Just try to put it at 5 degrees and hold it there. Put your TVI I'm at 5 at degrees. We'll be, we'll be climbing. If I put it at 5, we will die. <laughs> no, no, no. No, the TVI. Put your TVI at 5 oh, degrees. Oh, oh, okay, sure. Uh, that's about it. Alright, uh... uh... Data, are you taking the first left? Or second? No, you can take it. I'll stay, uh... I'll, I'll do trail wing on the left. Where did everybody go? I'm, uh... Above? Oh, Okay. Alright, Saber, now drop TVI down to whatever it is that will maintain level flight. Watch your altitude indicator when you get level, when you stop gaining altitude, try to hold that. A 
looks like TVI right on zero will maintain level flight. Oh! Oh! Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, we can do it. Just I don't lift it by something. <laughs> I, uh, I may have gently sat down on your tail there. My bad. It just rose up out of nowhere. Who just hit me? Like on the other end of the diesel. Somebody just hit me and I rolled out. Okay, I turned the level off now that we're clear of that. This is fucking hard. Yep. I need uh, just an instrument for this, damn it. Okay, there. I am like a statue. Air was actually pretty fun to fly. I am having a horrible time trying to line up with you, Saber. Really? I think, yeah. I think Lee still needs like two or three percent throttle limit, uh, acceleration limiter. Well, I okay. think it's because he's way. constantly changing uh, yeah. the TVI alignment. <laughs> but there. but data was doing it. It wasn't that hard. It's just because the air was faster. I'm like trying to hold it as steady as I can. It is very well, here, hard to lock it to something. Let's invisible. let's do a test here. I'm gonna move forward. I'll take lead and uh, see if I can maintain it. All right. I'm gonna let off my throttle just a bit for anyone behind me. Um. Uh. Oh, that came back. <laughs> yeah, way, way, way more stable now. Way more. Why did that missile that come back and then shoot forward? It was again? locked on me somehow. Oh, I didn't fire it. Who, who fired the missile? Uh, Luigi? Oh. Is Louis here? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's red. He's red for me. <laughs> I got him locked behind me. Hey, What's Louis? up, boys? Hey, Louis. I've been here for a while. I'm just like, I have the baby, so I'm like super quiet. Yeah, no worries. This is kind of tough what you guys are doing. Yeah, it's oh. way different. But yeah, uh, watch Ender. If you watch Ender, it's not tough. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I need, I mean, now I need to use both sticks instead of yeah, just. Yeah, it's not left hand flying anymore. Yeah. This is where you need a ho toss, so you just throttle up all the way, and then you can fly right stick only. Oh, uh, you go for a right wing kill. What's that? Yeah, I'll just take the slot again. Terry, are you left wing? No, Terry, it's just uh, getting used to it. Just getting used to it. I don't trust all oh, shit. It. All right, I'm gonna try number two. All right. Yeah, sir, it's gonna break away every four. Hold on, let me see if I can turn off the push to talk. This is so scary. <laughs>